Hi, I'm Kara Thorson from uh, yogaequanimity.com. Uh, today we're at the little yoga room and a friend of mine had inquired about carpal tunnel. She's pregnant and so it's developed from the pregnancy, which I was unaware that that could happen. But apparently with pregnancy there's inflammation and uh, this is rested in her wrists and developed a carpal tunnel. So, some things for carpal tunnel. First of all, carpal tunnel is like a, a clogging. And so what we want to do is flush the tissue that are inflamed and creating that clogging. So we create opposite actions, a fist and then spread it out and then bring it all together and spread it out. There's also like a hook exercise that's good with the thumb attached to the fingers and then bringing the fingers in into somewhat of a claw position and then again spreading them out so we can go through those series also bada angliasana so you'll interlace the fingers turn the palms out and straighten the arms so that they stay in line with the shoulders and really try and squeeze those pinky fingers together and then we can raise the arms up above the head keeping the shoulders in line rather than letting them roll forward or the back and then bringing the arms down and of course you'll change the cross of the fingers same thing and raise the arms up another something to do that would be helpful is in a tabletop i'll show on the wall so that you can see you can either have your hands to the floor or you can use a wall in general i'll stay out of the way so that you can see your hand would be at the wall but you're keeping your arms straight so maybe I can move over this way. Keeping the arms straight so that it's in line with the shoulder. I'll do it slightly in front so that you can see. And you're watching that each part of the hand is coming in towards the wall. So you're not necessarily pushing it, but you're looking to straighten it to the point where you unclog, sorry, unclog any tensions that are within your shoulder or your fingers or the articulation system. You can work on bringing the hand forward in that same range of motion, bringing the hand back, but again, you want to be centered. So rather than being at an angle like I am, so that you can see, you would want your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder to be in the same line. And you really find it flosses the nerves as well. You find that some places are really hard and constricted and other places you can get into easier. What you want to do is balance those actions. Again, in the Yoga Sutras, Pantanjali tells us effortless effort. So we need to manipulate it, that into our practice. Where is the effort too strong? Where is the effort not enough? So that they're balanced with one another. So you could even play with it, two hands together. What you want to do is create a, or meet the resistance rather, to create an openness or a balance. So Barbara, I hope that helps you. And um, anyone else, I'm, I hope it helps you. If you have any questions, please send your suggestions. Let's troubleshoot together. Let's be the solution. And uh, again, Kara Thorson from Yoga Equanimity. We're at the little yoga room. If you like us, like our videos. If you uh, want to come and try a class, be my guest. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.